Welcome to One Mega Video Channel. Subscribe the channel, like the video, share with your friends. In this video, we will see some of the unknown facts about Queen Margaret II of Denmark's royal life. This is part one of the video. Check the part two in the end. Danish royal family is celebrating Queen Margaret II of Denmark's golden jubilee on the Danish throne this year in 2022. For completing 50 years of service to her nation, she is the first queen of Denmark in over 500 years to rule on Denmark. She will be celebrating her 82nd birthday on 16th of April 2022. To honor the special moments, let us see some of the known and most of the unknown facts about her, the most admired Danish queen. Sixteenth of April, nineteen forty, is the birthday of Queen Margaret II of Denmark in Copenhagen in the Mellenburg Palace. She is having royal title, Her Royal Highness Princess Margaret II. She is the first and eldest child of her parents, Crown Princess Ingrid of Denmark and Crown Prince Frederick IX of Denmark. Her mother was born into the House of Bernadotte, and her father was born into the House of Glucksburg. Royal kids, just like any other kids, enjoy playing with soft toys. Princess Margaret, as a small child, loved playing with stuffed animals too. Soft toys, which she had a complete collection to play with. Stuffed soft toy animal, which she named Clice, was her favorite fluffy toy, along with soft turtle and fluffy rabbit, according to the former court reporter Bodil Cat. In a small incident showcased in a book named Child of the Occupation, Queen Margaret II shares her lemonade moment as a five-year-old child. As WW2 ended, Princess Margaret II had a small celebration moment by having a glass of fresh lemonade for her fresh start of post-war Night of Liberation, and she shared the situation happened at the time. At the age of just 13 years old, the young Princess Margaret became presumptive heiress to the Denmark's throne. But it was not so straightforward though. When she was born, in those days, only male child were allowed to ascend to the Danish throne. According to the Danish royal tradition, a new act of succession was passed in the year 1953 in March. First time in the recent Danish history, after many years of following the age-old tradition, that new act made it possible for females to get a chance of becoming queen, with condition that they don't have elder brother to claim that position. First date is a very romantic moment for any woman. No matter the date was successful or not, it always have sentimental value for many. Princess Margaret's first date was with the man himself, Henri Marie Jean Andre de Laborde de Montpazat, who was born on 11th of June 1934 in Talens, Guironne de France. He was having a background in the French diplomatic service, a dashing young gentleman. Indeed, it was first time in her life that she was going alone with a man outside for a lunch date. He invited her and it was the first time she was alone with a man, outside of her royal boundaries. She has explained in brief her experience in a book named Engager. We can imagine how romantic and a bit scary the moment is with butterflies in the stomach kind of situation for her. It ended well and both started liking each other even more eventually. It was in the year 1967, on 10th of June, Princess Margaret II married the then French diplomat Count Henri de la Borde Montpazat in the Holman Church, Copenhagen. Her royal wedding took place just for 20 minutes, as she wanted her wedding to be just like every other Danish citizen. Count Henry was given royal title of His Royal Highness Prince Henrik of Denmark. The newlywed royal couple was highly admired by the local Danish population. When it comes to royal wedding gifts, the extravagance can be seen even in the Danish Queen's early life. After her royal marriage to Prince Consort of Denmark, Prince Henrik, in the year 1967, Queen Margaret's father, Frederick IX, gifted the newlywed royal couple with the keys of Marcelburg Palace in Aarhus. Her father's royal wedding gift gave her complete access of the palace and freedom to decorate the old-fashioned palace to couples' own choices. When her father offered her with such a marvelous gift, which had historical significance, 
she was little skeptic if she should accept the offer or not. Queen Margaret's husband explained and convinced her to accept the proposal of making the palace house as her own and make the changes as required that suit the time of that era and revamp the old style not so elegant furniture to new style upgrade which will match the palace and will give it the new elegant look. Her husband supported her in whatever hurdles she had in their private life, decision making and filled her life with positivity. Queen Margaret II was blessed with her first child in the year 1968. On 26th of May, baby boy named Prince Frederick of Denmark, one year after their nuptials. The royal couple were excited with the news of the arrival of their second baby in the year 1969. On 7th of June, the baby boy was named Prince Joachim of Denmark. The consecutive royal births, one year after another, made the Danish royal family of four filled with joy and happiness. Royal fans were equally thrilled, resulted with extra media attention at the time in Scandinavian even royal circle. Queen Margaret I was the first female Danish monarch who ruled the Scandinavian region from the year 1375 to 1412. After her death, many centuries passed by, and then Denmark was blessed by Queen Margaret II, who became the second female monarch of Denmark in the year 1972 on 14th of January. After the death of her father, King Frederick IX, she succeeded the Danish throne. She completed half a century gracefully and celebrated 50 years on the Danish throne this year in 2022. It will not be wrong to say, but one of the biggest fan or admirers of Britain's Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, will be Queen Margaret II herself. It is seen over the years that Queen Elizabeth II is great influencer for Danish Queen. The way she is ruling and dedicatedly working of her royal duties tirelessly, even after losing her husband, Prince Philip, recently, she is one of the longest serving female monarch in the royal history. Queen Margaret II is gracious to admit and said in respect in the year 2012 that Queen of Britain is one of the biggest sources of admiration to her. Her life journey till date is living example for her. The year 2022 have celebratory vibes in the air of Denmark. In the Kingdom of Denmark, the Golden Jubilee was celebrated of Queen Margaret II. Various royal events are organized in several places across Denmark throughout the year by royalty and royal fans' participation. The 50th anniversary of the accession have significant importance. Her husband, Prince Consort of Denmark, Prince Hendrik, will be missed on this glorious event, who stood by his wife throughout her life. In the year 1972, on January 14th, Margaret succeeded the Danish throne after the sad demise of her father, Prince Frederick IX. This is the end of part 1 of the video. Check the part 2 over here. These were some of the known and unknown facts about Queen Margaret II. Let us wish birthday greetings to her in advance which is on 16th of April and also congratulate her on completing 50 years on the Danish throne. We have seen in this part 1 of the video briefly about her life story, from her birth, her parents, her childhood, her likes and dislikes, some special moments of meeting, her prince charming, her courtship, engagement, royal wedding, birth of her children, life and Incidents while growing up and sad demise of her beloved husband. Her life is definitely like a roller coaster ride with occasional bumps, hurdles, sweetness, humility, and being the people's queen in real sense. In this part 1, we have partly covered some of the aspects of her royal life and we will try to cover some more facets of her life in the next part of the video. In part 2, looking at this video, which are the facts which you were not aware earlier and have newly learned from this video, and what do you love about Danish royal family? What other known and unknown facts that you are aware of? Share your thoughts to comment below, like the video and share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching one mega video channel. Enjoy your life and have a nice day.